The rebel forces in Libya are being pushed back on two fronts as Colonel Gaddafi's troops attacked their last western holdout in Misrata and drove insurgents from the eastern oil port of Ras Lanouf. The intense aerial bombardment pushed them eastwards from Ras Lanouf towards the rebel-held town of Ukela, 180 miles southwest of Benghazi. At least three of the airstrikes hit a rebel checkpoint in Alagela, near Ukela, causing the rebels to flee the main roads and into the desert. Well, our international editor, Lindsay Hilsom, is in Benghazi now. Lindsay, what's the latest there? Well, Christian, it's been a day of military advances and diplomatic setbacks for Colonel Gaddafi. This morning, I understand that he even took journalists. He got his people to take journalists to the town of Ras Lanouf. Now, this has been fiercely fought over in the past few days, and what he wanted to prove was that government forces are now controlling it, and it seems that he did manage to do that. But they have also hit, apparently, more oil installations. So that, of course, is a major economic problem. We understand that the front line is now back towards the town of Brega. And I spoke to one rebel today in Benghazi. He started to blame his own commanders and said there were spies amongst their ranks, which would suggest that the rebels may be in some disarray. On the diplomatic front, the Arab League, we understand, is now calling for a no-fly zone over Libya. To be... uh, I'm not sure what that sound is, Lindsay, but, I mean, perhaps, yes. you, can, perhaps you can help us with that. that. Sound was gunfire, but I that was gunfire, Krishnan. But I think that it was probably uh, the gunfire of over enthusiasm, which you hear quite a lot here in Benghazi. It certainly doesn't put us at any okay. risk. The Arab League, as you were saying, yes, they um, did meet today, and I think it must have been something of an uncomfortable meeting because some of those foreign ministers will have been thinking there, but for the grace of God, go we. But they did come out against Colonel Gaddafi. They said that uh, his regime no longer had legitimacy. And they did call for a no-fly zone, only Algeria and Syria voting against. That's a strong statement. That is a diplomatic setback. And it will have an impact on NATO, the EU and the UN trying to decide whether to impose a no-fly zone. Lindsay Hilson in Benghazi. In Yemen, three people have been killed and hundreds injured in some of the most violent clashes between police and anti-government protesters since unrest broke out in January. Hundreds of police firing water cannon and tear gas stormed the camp where protesters had been holding out in the capital, Sana'a. Witnesses said it felt like a massacre. Fighting was also reported in at least two other cities.